Hey girls, today we're going to go over five fall 2024 trends that I am loving. And as I was preparing for this video, first of all, it's going to be hard for me to keep it to five. And I'm doing this in collaboration with some of my best friends here on YouTube, Kelly and Christina with Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. They are doing this exact video and they are featuring their favorite trends. And then Marnie, Miss Gold Girl on her channel, she is doing the exact same thing. So I feel like between the three of our channels, you will get a good feel for what's in fashion, for what's in style, for what's trending. I really feel like wear what you want, but when you're like us and you're shopping all the time, and I have been really, really shopping lately for some conferences and things I have coming up, special events, you really get a feel for what's trending without even having to read the articles about what's trending. So go over to their channels, watch their favorite trends. Be sure to tell them I sent you and to say hello and then subscribe to their channels too because we're each gonna have a totally different vibe. I am probably the most crazy. <laughs> Out of our whole group, I am probably the most daring, and that's fine. I always have been, and I've learned to own it. So my trends are going to be kind of like that over 45 iconic woman who doesn't mind standing out, who doesn't want to blend in, who wants to be fashion forward, but wants it to look nice and not too over the top, and wants to have fun with her style. That is what I'm gonna show you today. So the first one is this top that I'm wearing. And what I'm gonna to do too is show you things that I have already. And then I'm going to link some things below that I've seen on websites because I can only wear, I say this, I can only wear so many leopard tops. I swear, I think I've bought the bodysuit from um, ah, NYX, that's leopard. I bought this sweater. I bought another bodysuit and a top from Zara that you'll be seeing soon too. And I've got all kinds of like leopard everything. The difference is it's more of an understated, almost nod back to the 50s and 60s when think like Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, uh, Sophia Loren, Joan Crawford. Think of that leopard from like the 50s and 60s not as much the pink leopard or the patchwork leopard or things like that. I have loved this since I was in, definitely when I was in high school, because all my bathing suits were usually some type of leopard, and they were usually like the pink leopard and all of that stuff. But this little top I got from Anthropology. I love it. It's got the little puff sleeve, and you can see it's that really nice leopard that's a little bit more muted. And I think this is a great top to take into the fall. And honestly, it's a year round top. You could wear it now and then you could wear it underneath some of your other things. So the reason I brought you here in my closet is because this is where a lot of my clothes are. And I wanted to, instead of taking all of them out here, I wanted to just show you. So speaking of Zara, this is one of the tops that I got. This is a nice little top because it has wide enough straps that you can still wear a bra with it. This is the Zara bodysuit that I was telling you about. Very sexy. Now, I get it if you don't wanna wear this by itself. I don't know if I would either. I mean, I would, but nine times out of 10, I'm gonna put this under a blazer or a cardigan, like a black cashmere cardigan or something like that and pair it with a pair of, I always love leopard and red. This with a pair of red, trousers I think would be amazing so love that these okay when I got these from Zara I was so excited and I sized up to my typical Zara kind of sizing for pants which is medium you guys there is no way I bet my niece could wear these so I did find a pair almost exactly the same on Amazon and they're downstairs on my table where I just opened them but these I know this is stretching it. This is for those of you like me that don't mind <laughs> stretching it sometimes. I'm thinking of this with one of the Nike sweatshirts or a big hoodie 
and your sneakers for a good airplane outfit or running around. I just think these are going to be so cool and so much fun to play with. And then we have just a good old leopard slip skirt. I have dresses. I could go on and on. But I'm going to find some good stuff and link it below. And even if you don't want to do full-on leopard, like that's not your style, trust me, leopard is a true, true classic. It really is. Get a scarf or something like that. Or just some little something, a pair of heels. You guys, if you've been with me, you remember these. These are my Stuart Weitzman heels in leopard. What else? Do I have another pair of leopard shoes? I don't think I do. I've got all kinds of animal print. I've got a uh, lots of python. But just do one little thing of the leopard and you are going to love it. I promise. It's such a cool vibe. So feminine. Sneakers. There's a lot of sneakers with leopard. I was seeing if any of my sneakers, like I've got these Air Force Ones, but they have the python, which I'll be honest with you, all of the animal prints are popular, but it's not in the cartoony type way. It's in more of this elegant style. Okay, next for denim barrel jeans, barrel, carrot jeans, tapered jeans, horseshoe jeans. You probably remember when I got the ones from Free People, and I have since given them to my daughter, Brooke, who's 24, if you haven't met her, and she loves those jeans. She says she gets so many compliments when she wears them. She wears them with a cool little crop top. I love it, so I'm glad she's enjoying them. I had purchased these which are the Citizens of Humanity horseshoe jeans. And these are pretty, pretty, you know, bowed out. So there's different degrees of the horseshoe. I actually wore a pair the other day. I thought they were horseshoe jeans because they usually they'll have this seam in the leg because that's how it comes out and then goes back in. They were from Urban Outfitters. But when I looked them up, they're called baggy, but they're, they're a mild version of the horseshoe jeans. And I just wanted to read to you a quote when I was kind of just studying up on this stuff. The d creative designer from Citizens of Humanity said, this is a diversive style. When we posted this on Instagram and people had strong opinions, that's when we knew we had a bestseller on our hands. So keep in mind that some of these things are going to be what they say, hell yes or hell no. And I get it, but that's how interesting things and interesting people come about. So if you are that person, then you will love wearing something like this that's a little bit outside of the norm. And like I said, now they are creating ones like the ones I have on today. These are the Pistola. I believe they're called Lexi. I will link them below, but this is a version. Let's see if these have that seam. I think they've actually just cut these to be a little bit bowed out. I love jeans like this with a pump. I'm a pump girl. Like I, that's probably my favorite heel. And I love the nude patent from Stuart Weitzman. They have my favorite patent, patent leather like this. And I do have something that I've had for years that I love. Let me just actually take you guys down to the end of my room. I do have big plans. See, here's my only window up here. So you can see how it's better up here, but I've got some plans going on that are, it's gonna make it better and I'm gonna be able to film up here a little bit more. But this coat from Ghani, I don't know if you remember when I got this, this is the best. This is the best. And you know what makes this coat even better is that it's kind of thin. So I'll be able to pack it and it not take up so much room in my suitcase. I can wear it on the plane. This is just a fabulous coat. So I'm gonna do my best to find something like this for you. So I think I have covered the whole leopard thing. Since we're here, let's go on to another one of my favorites, and that is faux fur. We're doing this in the same way. We're doing this in more of the elegant style a la Mob Wife. Remember, Mob Wife style came in at the end of last season, right when it was turning spring, and I'm here for it. I love it. I love the whole Mob Wife look. I love the whole Michelle Pfeiffer in Scarface. Like, that is my vibe all over. The whole American Hustle, one of the best movies ever, if you like 60s and 70s fashion. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I need to I need to just put those movies on during the day. 
So I have got many faux furs. This is the Naomi Campbell. No, this is the Zara Stephen Mizell faux fur. This is another faux furry thing that I got from Anthropology. This is actually mixed in with a little bit of the 3D flowers. You'll see a lot of that. My friend Kelly with Mommy's Makeup and Moscato, she had purchased several things to wear to the style conference with this. So you may get to see that on her. This is, remember this faux fur that actually has the brooches kind of on it. Let's see, I think it was Syncacept. I love this so much. I love it. I mean, things like this, do they just make me happy? Okay, this is just more like a cropped teddy coat. This is one of my originals. This is one I got last year from Mango. Another one I got from Mango. Oh my gosh. Remember this one from Free People. Honestly, I could almost use this as just an accessory. You could, okay, this is, this is going out there. This is for the people that are crazy and obsessed like I am. You could almost just lay this across your bed and it it's, feels like a blanket or a quilt. I mean, it's that heavy and has that good, I'm your grandma's quilt kind of feeling. It is just, what is it? Almost famous, kind of um, inspired. And then here's a few more that I got last year. But honestly, I would say these are my favorites. Oh my gosh. And remember this from Mango? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. And I was kind of surprised that so many of the new trends I already have. So, okay, so then we're, we've gone through leopard, we've gone through the barrel jeans, we've gone through faux fur. Let's go on to metallic sneakers. This is something I have seen really, really coming in on every single price point. And I starting, I think it was as soon as I bought these, when we were in Universal in Florida, I bought these and I started collecting other shoes that look like this that weren't as expensive. So I am going to link some really good ones. I also really love like the Asics and the New Balance and the Nikes that aren't totally metallic, but have a lot of metallic on them. And then when I was in Miami shopping with Kelly from Mommy's Makeup and Moscato, I bought these gold ones from Chanel. And I love them. They just, oh my gosh, put these on with a pair of jeans and anything, a sweatshirt, anything. And it instantly elevates your outfit and it makes you look like, wow, you have style. That's the difference. And like I said, this has to be for the women that don't mind standing out and want to look like you're into fashion. That's, that's my style. But these, and I'm going to link all of the ones I find underneath. Hey, Chanel. The cats love it when I come over here. Okay, number five. I had to do something concerning handbags because I'm all about the handbags lately. And I'm going to give you kind of a twofer on this one. One thing is something that they're bringing back, and that is oversized bags. I have been loving this. I've used both of these in the past couple of weeks. And this one especially, this is my Chanel 22. And I'll be honest with you, I love this bag, but I want it to get worked in. And even when I have seen people out with this bag, I ask them, how do you do that? And they said, you just have to keep using it. So that's one of those things I need to just work on. And then this one, I don't know if you even remember when I got this bag, but it is a fabulous Chanel Leather DeVille. I bought this when we first moved in this house and I have been scared to use it when I travel. And so lately I have been doing some different things where I needed to carry several things to like my parents and stuff like that. So I grabbed this bag and when my parents saw this bag, they fell in love. My dad says it's his favorite bag he's ever seen me carry. So that means a lot. And let me just show you what I have in here now. Okay, I think I took this to the movies. We went to go see It Ends With Us. So good. And I had my socks. These are the sun-kissed socks from the Airy unboxing. If you haven't seen that, I will put that up here. I have, this is funny, I have my Apple earphones that I wore to the dentist when I had a crown done last week. I've got the temporary in now. I'll have to go back to get the 
real one. And then I've got all of my other stuff. And then what do you know? I have another <laughs> bag in here. Oh, this is what's great about these kind of bags is like yesterday when I was out and about, I ran into Ulta and got some things. I just grabbed this bag out of there and took it. I changed into this bag. John and I had a date night with another couple the other night and I wanted something like this. And I remembered this little Fendi baguette that I bought years ago from one of my subscribers and it was vintage then. And she lived in an affluent city and she would get together with other women and they would buy and sell and trade fashion. And that is how I scored some of these, just the most remarkable vintage bags that I have. I mean, I really promote going on eBay and the real, real. There's just something special about bags like that. And then another big bag. I mean, I have, I, I wouldn't run out and get the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I mean, not Speedy, but never full unless you get it in a different print because that's more conservative. That's not going to stand out like we want to do. But I do have like, lo and behold, I have this, my Dior book tote in leopard. I have my Birkin 35. And even you'll notice with some of my handbags I've purchased lately are a little bit on the larger side, like these that I showed you in my Louis Vuitton video. So big bags. I, I think... I think all bags anytime. I just, I wear what I want, but you can't help being, you know, influenced by what you see. It's almost subliminal, you know. You see people you like, you like their style, you know, notice what they're wearing. So go with what you like, but I do, I do like the big bags. Okay, the bonus I'm going to give you here is the East West bags, like this little bag from Prada. This bag is dreamy dreamy this is like the ultimate cool girl 60s 70s vibe this is going to look so good with the faux furs with the dresses very sex in the city the whole baguette style is just still in and i just love this bag so much very user friendly i love like the patent looking leather the shiny leather it's all you know part of what i like let me hang it back up and it just sets you apart and that one is not crazy expensive to be a prada designer bag i think it's it's pretty affordable or pretty reasonable i should say so those are my five trends that i will be wearing this fall another one i wanted to mention and i was so surprised that i didn't see it on vogue who what where what to wear now Rachel Zoe, all the, Marie Claire, all the sites that we look on. And that was Western chic, Western clothing. So I dug into it a little further, and I think they're pretty much considering that a spring trend. But I am here to tell you, it is not gone. We were supposed to have a Western night at this style conference that we'll all be going to in about a month. And I bought so much stuff that is Western themed including another pair of the white cowboy boots from Walmart, the Steve Madden, because I wanted to compare them to last year's. So look forward to me, myself, mixing some of those looks into some of my videos soon because the Western is still in and it's something that I like and I don't like it in a cheeky, I think there's the, the music festival, young person like my daughter Brooke loves the cowboy hat and all that kind of stuff there's that type of western and but what I like is like for instance this Ralph Lauren belt that I bought last year to put around a slip dress that's what I like just a nod to the western look is what I love so thank you guys so much for being here thank you to mommy's makeup and Moscato and Miss Gold Girl for collaborating with me and being my friends and thank you girls for being my friends for watching and I will list everything down below plus more and I will put their channels please go over say hello watch their videos and subscribe have a great day and I'll see you soon bye bye